Hey YouTube. Oh. Got one of these little um, little kits off eBay again today. Uh, well, I didn't get it today. It came through the post. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Not that I ordered it today and it's just arrived instantly. Uh, this is a little... Um, it's based on a CD4017. BE I see and it is a infrared remote switch now it's all good little kit simple enough to put it together uh, if I can see most of the markings are there clear enough so you can actually see that Um, it has a, uh, an infrared sensor sits at the top here. Um, that that is outputted into a transistor. Um, can't quite get my fingers to go where I want it to. And then that goes into this um, this IC anyway. And then that's pushed out again to another transistor, which um, then switches a relay. And there's some capacitors and bits and pieces in between. So. Yeah, this is it. Now, in the actual advert, it shows that this has got a socket, and it doesn't come with a socket. It's a little bit annoying, especially if you wanted the socket yourself. And it also has um, like the yellow. I can't. I don't know what the number is of the yellow connector for the power. Um, but it actually just comes with a couple of pins and these these things which is a little bit annoying because uh, again if you wanted the connector for something else uh, you haven't got it um, for the pound six or pound 19 I can't remember what this kit cost mm, maybe I shouldn't quibble um, but there you go so that's the kit anyway that's the kit well, I'm gonna put it back in here because I decided I didn't want to build the kit I decided I didn't want to build it I wanted to build my own and so I went looking around on the internet and I found a circuit which was pretty similar to this and I thought well I'll give mine I'll, I'll give it a go building my own it's, it's great to build the little kits don't get me wrong you want to practice soldering and such but it's also good to have the spare parts because I'm going to use these parts I'm going to use this um, the terminal connector and I'm going to use the relay out of here I don't think I've got a need for the momentary switch. I don't know why it's on here because really your remote should be your, yeah, your switch and just doing it from a distance using a, a standard plain, you know, just old remote. This is from an old TV that I don't have anymore. I think it's from a TV um, that I don't have anymore. And it would have come in really, really handy and I'll show you what it would have come in really, really handy for. Well, it would have come in really, really handy to use as a remote control. Because here's my circuit. I've built it already. Now, from this wire here, this wire included, and all this, forget it. Forget it. This is a little intercom system I'm working on. And it uses this wire as well, because I've pulled out the speakers. Because the speakers and bits and pieces are down there, and we don't need those. Um, And so it's just there uh, from these wires basically here, this LED, and this is where the relay should go on the other circuit, but I've decided just for this not to bother with the relay, um, I just wanted to get the circuit working. I had a couple of fun parts with this circuit, it was pretty straightforward really, I'll put the um, schematic in the link in the description, it was pretty straightforward, the only thing that I had was um, my infrared receiver is a different pin out and it took me a little bit of time to figure out which way to put that round but that's that's sorted not a problem um, if you use the actual infrared receivers that they have on the schematic you won't have that problem it's just I don't have them infrared receivers they don't come in those kits either uh, completely different ones come um, and so I've used that 
uh, I've connected it to my little my little power supply here. So if I flip this on, now it's set for 3.7 uh, volts ish. And the reason why I've done that is because one, the infrared receiver uh, uses less than that to be powered up, and two, uh, the, the chip does as well. Now, if I were going to use this for um, a heavier load, say, than what the transistor can give, which is only about 100, it's a uh, BC, it's 558, I think I've got there. Uh, or well, it could be the 557 whichever one's the MPN is there out of those two um, oh, yeah 357 is it'll be on the on the schematic uh, but it's only about 100 milli, 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 milliamps so I'm just driving this little LED with it um, yeah but it's pretty Pretty straightforward circuit really well it is pretty straightforward if your biggest enemy when you come to construction the circuit isn't yourself and with me it is myself um, and so what we got here is I need to pause because I'm sure I can smell my dinner and it doesn't sound smell that healthy just give me a tick uh, nice where do we get to oh yeah so uh, the remote control now this is all well and good but if the um, if the uh, let me switch that back on again if you've already taken the LED transmitter out <laughs> for something else you can be playing your circuit thinking, oh this doesn't work this doesn't work why doesn't this work and so I started changing things looking at the schematic again thinking oh here we go so PMP transistors, did I get them the wrong way round? Did I get the wrong um and it was it was it was taking like a 120, 130 milliamps, which was too much I thought for a circuit. Also it's been a standby. If it's using all that power, it's probably not very good. But that's when I realised that the, the 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 pinout on this was completely different to the pinout on the schematic. Um Mine's a TSO 1780. I don't know what it is actually. There's no point in me saying what it is because I can't remember. It's on the screen behind there. Maybe I could just bring that up on there actually. Uh, so there's the schematic anyway. Let's put that back down there. Okay, so, right. Well, when I realised that that was a problem, I decided to stop taking the circuit apart anymore, and I went and got the, the one for my TV. And guess what? Hey, hey, hey. You just press it, and it works. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm quite chuffed, because, um... I say well, I'm quite chuffed, because for a while I put off building these, because this is the fourth one that I bought. Now, the reason why I bought two more it's got I checked with the people I said look it does come with the socket doesn't it it does come with the proper power connectors and they said yes yes so I ordered two more and of course it didn't come with the socket and it didn't come with the proper power connectors but I suppose it did have these which the other one didn't have uh, which is this three terminal um, yeah try to do that so the lights not just shining off it the three terminal connector uh, for uh, the higher voltage because this transformer the relay can switch 240 volt um, or it can just switch the uh, uh, 12 volt which is what I'm going to use it for I'm going to have this as a remote for my lights oh this would be interesting this is something else I wanted to see as well but for one of these little remotes and it does brilliant because I don't actually use oh it's not that good is it you got to leave it a second uh, I don't actually use the bulb for this I, I bought this one and the bulb to take it apart to see what was inside and uh, try and see if I could make any sort of head and tail about how it worked but this could come in handy to have in here just to switch my lights on from here my, off my battery and of course this one run off my battery too as it is at the moment I just put a little voltage regulator um, and sort that out and because it only draws about well it doesn't draw a lot you know sort of like uh, 10 milliamps 
with that running like that and of course if I put something else on I'll just give it a separate power supply to the relay side of it uh, yeah so nice simple little circuit it's great don't get me wrong I'm going to build one of these kits it's great to build the kit um, and I, I will build a kit and I'm pretty sure it will go together quite successfully and simply but it's also great to just build dry. If you got this far guys, cheers for watching. Bye for now.